morning. It's Wednesday, 3.32 a.m. On my way to the gym, like we do it, like we do at this time. It's gonna be my new theme song at Kanye West. I was sitting in my office yesterday and uh, I wanna get on Facebook a little bit more than I do. Uh, but I, I don't like to come across preachy. I don't wanna come across as, ah, he, there he is again. I like to kind of really just flow as I flow, and I was I was typing something, and I was gonna shoot it out, and I just thought, you know what? Sometimes it's a little too real. Sometimes the conversation is a little too serious. Sometimes the conversation is a little bit more than people want to hear. But what it really boiled down to was, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? The end of let me see, 2000 was it 2000. 16? No, I'm sorry. 2015, maybe. We had bought a brand new TV. We shopped around. We looked for what was the best, latest thing. I think it was 60, 60 inches, 60 inch TV, uh, 4K, ultra thin, best they had on the market. And um, loved it. We got one of those Amazon Fire Sticks. We had all the channels. It was just it was just overwhelming. It was good. It was really good. And uh, probably about a month into it, I broke it. I broke it. I intentionally broke it. I broke this brand new TV. Didn't cry about it. Didn't think twice about it. Broke it. And guess what? We haven't replaced it since then. Still hangs on the wall. Very beautiful. The only thing I wish I could have done was not broke it to the point where I could still play like a picture on there or something so it looks like a piece of artwork hanging on my wall so now I have this huge 60 inch TV that's completely broken because what is watching TV gonna pay me what was it gonna get me yeah I understand it's entertainment my job is to do what's best for my family even if that means I have to sabotage the situation even if that means I have to burn the cookies my job is to provide for my family. Now, they can make their own individual decisions, but overall, for the well-being of what's going on inside of our home, I am at the forefront of that to make sure that we're eating right, talking right, living right, acting right, and and studying and, and doing the things that are going to make us uh, potentially wealthy or uh, get us to where we want to go in life. So as I started typing out yesterday, I started thinking, what are you willing to sacrifice? You know, what's a person really willing to give up for what they want? If, you know, if, if you're overweight, it's a good chance that you, you have horrible eating habits. Now, I get it. You're used to eating a certain amount, so your stomach will start craving it. If you don't eat, I got it. But eventually that craving will go away if you discipline yourself enough to tell your stomach that you're not bigger than me and what I want. So what I want is to be slim and fit. Therefore, you must shut up. You know, how bad do we want our business? Do we want it bad enough to get there early? To stay there late? To prospect? To do the things that are uncomfortable to us? To present. So as I'm writing down, I'm starting to think, you know, what is it? What what is somebody really willing to pay? I know what I'm willing to pay. I'm willing to go to the top. I'm willing to pay the ultimate sacrifice to get to the top. I will not pay my family. I will not pay for my with my health. I will not pay with my faith. I won't pay for it with any of those things. Those things will all help me in the achievement of this goal. And that's, so, that's why I'm so happy where I'm at because I, I learned that you can have all those things. You can have all those great achievements inside of one. Yeah. Once you learn to balance yourself, once you learn to focus, once you learn to spend the quality time to communicate what's going on, all those things will start to work in your favor and not seem like they're working against you. I, there was a point in my life where I thought my family was working against me. Oh, you want me to spend the weekend with you when I'm trying to build this business. 
instead of sitting down and saying, hey, look, it, we're, in a, we're in the building stage, okay? Give me a little bit of time and I promise I'll, I'll pay you back tenfold. Instead of having that communication, that talk, what are you willing to pay? What are you willing to pay? And then what do you have to tell yourself to keep yourself motivated to keep paying that price? Because the cost to get to where you want to be is definitely bigger than the cost of where you're already at. It's a different lifestyle. It's a way of being. It's not a pickup and, you know, I want to do it today. I don't want to do it. It's a way of life. God bless. Take care.